Hello, everyone. How do you do? And welcome to What's Old Saturday for finally some freaking September oh. dates. Even though it's just the first It's September. just one, but one yes. is better than none. Yes. September, I officially feel like, is really, like, really a fall month yes. in my mind. It so absolutely I'm is. so freaking excited to be in September. It's 95 today, so it doesn't feel like fall, but it's there. The possibility, the vibe, the energy. Yeah. We have both had a super busy week. I feel like we say that all the time. But it, we genuinely every week have. is a super busy week. Ryan is just getting ready for school because it starts next week. And I have been decorating, if you've been watching the second channel for Halloween, the entire freaking house, which has been so much work. But you've definitely been working a little bit harder. Oh my gosh. It's been good though. My classroom's almost done. I'll go in Monday. We film this on, we film this on Saturday. Wow, I wonder what day we film what's on Saturday on. <laughs> so I will go in Monday to like tidy up my little loose ends and do my little clean and get everything done and then Tuesday's go time. So in other words, we have both been slacking just a smidge on like the Poshmark. Oh, I've end been of really things. silent. <laughs> My Poshmark sales are not super impressive this week, though I do have like a decent amount of sales from a lot of different platforms, honestly. I was just gonna say, so I had not that many Poshmark sales. The ones that I did have were pretty good, but I really knocked it out of the park on eBay and Mercari this Me week. Me too. Yeah, I think Which I said- Which is really interesting because I never saw anything on eBay ever. Yeah, I think I said last <laughs> week that I felt like my relationship for eBay was like starting to rekindle and I was predicting that that was gonna happen. And sure enough, this week, eBay has still kind of like, she's flowed, she's moving, she's, she's here. grooving. She's definitely, I don't know where she is in the room, but we remember watching her walk in. <laughs> yes. So, that. so eBay has been like doing pretty decent and I'm kind of excited about that. And that also really makes me want to like cross post. That's what I need to do. Because oh, I haven't mm -hmm. done it in a long time. I do have like a lot. I have like 750 to 800 items on eBay. So it's not like I'm not there, but <laughs> I, I just have, like, haven't cross posted in a while. I think I have 111. Yeah. And I have 700 and something. <laughs> Oh, and coming up this week and this next two weeks is quarter three taxes. Blech. So that's fun. That's okay. So, Mine are going to be low, which is nice, but also like... Oh, kind of know. nice. Kind of not nice in a way. I know. Well. So this week of What's Last Saturday covers the 26th through the 1st of September. That's how we started this whole topic. Yeah, we that's how we real. got here, I think. Coming up this week, before we jump into the sales, we are going to be doing some kind of like Labor Day thrift with us or consignment shop with us that's gonna go up on Tuesday. So it is a thrift with us, but it's not a bins one for once. We're actually not both doing the bins this week. No. I'm gonna pick a different day this week and I'm going alone and then I'm gonna do a haul on Thursday for you guys. But on Tuesday, we're doing some kind of like Labor Day shopping, which yeah. I think will be pretty fun. And I feel like we haven't gone to a brick and mortar thrift store no. and talked about it on the internet for a hot minute. Yeah, so that'll be quite fun. We still gotta like do some digging on who has like some sales yes. going on if the consignment stores do or That's something. That's what we need to do. So we haven't figured our out research. our stops yet, but we're gonna be going kind of anywhere. Wherever the wind blows us, yeah. I guess, even though it's going to be wherever the memorial 99 degree wind, Ooh, it's going to be hot. <laughs> oh. And as you guys know, the R and D trends is coming up. The, the research and development, where we go to Mall of America and look around for the trends. I've already seen some of you say some stores in the comments of the trend report that you want us to go to. So thank mm -hmm. you for doing that. We will definitely go to those stores. But that won't be coming up this next week. Obviously, it's going to be coming up the week after. I don't know if it's going to be Tuesday or Thursday yet. But just with Ryan's schedule and he's starting school literally next week. Yes. We need to figure out a day that we can go to MOA. And also with Labor Day weekend, like, I don't want to go on Labor Day it's or on be the Sunday. Busiest. Well, because that's the, the last push for back to school. Oh, yeah. No, no. After no. that, after next no, week, no, 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 back to school no. is officially over. No. We are all back to school. So we don't need to all go to the mall at the same time. Not happening this weekend. Let's actually jump into talking about what we are here to talk about. And at the end of this video, we will actually have two P.O. Box packages that we're going to open up. But starting off the video, we would like to highlight the Valentine VIP of oh, the week. Wonderful. And this week it is Natalie, and Natalie's username Natalie. is shop sunny day underscore, How spelled cute. just like it sounds, S-H-O-P-S-U-N-N-Y-D-A-Y underscore. She has a really cute closet, and she has a really cute profile picture where she's holding her little poop. Oh, her little poop bar. It's so cute. So cute. She has a lot of terry cloth items, and we were kind Me of too. like oogling and ogling over these like outdoor voices shorts. I don't know if that's on the screen shot that I have here, but she <laughs> has some really cute They're ones. They're so cute. And some Isabel Moran. So Natalie's got some good stuff. So go give her closet a peek and leave her some comments and give her some love. Everybody say love. Love! <laughs> Ooh, I haven't and, done that in a while. And 
say hello to Natalie for us. She will be the first link below. So thank you, Natalie, for being a Valentine and thank you to all of our Valentines. I hope you guys enjoyed the extra bonus trend information that yes. was up on Wednesday. That was fun to film. Okay, so starting off the sales for the week, I think I'm going to talk about my two or three Mercari sales and then I'll move on to eBay. And then do you want to do your eBay? And then yeah. we'll do Posh? Yeah. Deal? Deal. Okay. So starting off with my three Mercari sales. One is very not seasonally appropriate. It's the next season appropriate. I sold this Anthropology Origami Star Paper Tree Topper. Oh, it's so, so cute So cute. Though. And this was actually from the bins and it was new in box. Or else, I mean, I would have had no clue that this mm -hmm. was from Anthro. But it had like the Anthro skew and label on the back still. It was adorable. I was oh. like shocked nobody had picked this up. But it sold for $28 and that was on Mercari. So I probably get about like 24-ish from that, which is a great sale. Then I sold this Dolls Kill Peta and Jane Lissy Croc crossbody. It was like this gothic croc embossed. Never heard of them. Black crossbody. It sold for $32, so I'll probably get about like 27, 28. I think this brand is kind of like boutique and like smaller. Like I think this bag retailed for like 68 to 75 or something, but it was pretty cool. It was quite gothic. And then last on Mercari was this Zadig and Voltaire Black Melang cardigan. This was oh, a pretty wild sale that I was quite so surprised cute. about. This sold for $120. Dollars, So I will definitely be getting over a hundred for that. I do not remember where I got that. That probably was like a consignment store pickup. It had to have been. Oh, I just, I don't so remember though. thrifting it. It was probably like a consignment store that didn't really know what Zodig was. So it was mm -hmm. probably like 15, 16 to 20 dollars, something like that. Yeah. So that was great. And of course, perfect season for that. My Mercari sale kind of puts a little pang in my heart because I will miss these shoes. <laughs> They're it, from your own personal collection. Yes, they were what you're from saying. way back in the day. It was a pair of Unif Black Original Hellraiser Flats. If anybody has these in a size 10, call me. I will buy them from Find you. Find his phone number. I will buy them from you. I wore these into the dirt. They were a size nine. They did not fit. They hurt my feet all the time, but I loved them. They were so comfortable, but it was time to move her on because like, I can't wear these in the classroom for eight hours a day standing on my little tiptoes. That would hurt. Did you mm. put accepting offers in the title? Yes, I did. Because <laughs> I wanted to sell them. Because if I- We're getting, we're headed to desperate times. I folks. am one of those people where if it's mine and it doesn't sell in a week, I either donate it or I take it back. Back. Is that relatable to anyone? <laughs> we have talked about this with our friend Nick, NCI Resale, if you guys don't know him. I'm sure you all do. A little nickly pickly. But yeah. we all have agreed that there's this weird feeling when you sell your own stuff that you just want it gone. Like, I almost don't even want to sell my stuff because I just, for no. some reason, when I have personally, like, broken up with it, like it's like, get out of my life. No, I don't want to store it. I don't want to share it. I don't want to see it again. Yeah. Take it. I, I don't know why. Even if it's worth know. a lot of money, I'm just like, go away. I know. Yeah. I bought these for um, $50, funny enough, on Mercari, like three years ago. And I will make 130 From Mercari to Mercari. If anybody has them in a size 10, yeah, I want them so bad. <laughs> Moving on to eBay, eBay, I have, I think, which if you don't know why Ryan calls it Feebay, it's actually a reference to Anna Cart. I love Anna. Anna always I love her so much. She's the nice I don't know if she name. still calls it Feebay. I don't think so. But I thought that was the funniest thing ever, and I still do. I so every Anna. time I make a sale, I go, I made a Feebay sale. <laughs> I love Anna. I miss her. Hi, Anne. <laughs> I sold this Tory Burch octagon linen oblong scarf. It sold for sixty dollars and. My buyer, oblong scarf. The buyer did pay shipping. This actually sold by promoting. I promote everything on eBay. Since eBay's fees are like a little less than posh, I don't mind promoting everything. I'm like, that's fine. I do that on Depop. Take your little extra fee. <laughs> Take your that's $2, okay. you're good to go. I just want to make my money. That sold by promoting. Then I sold this Killstar faux leather lace trim midi black goth emo skirt. Clearly mm -hmm. this was the week for the goths, the emos. Yes, it was. Pucks, the emos. And the grunges. The because emos are coming this the sold for $18 and the buyer once again paid shipping. That was also promoted. So Killstar, we sold Dolls Kill, we sold Unit. 
Smith, Hellraiser, oh. all kinds of punks. Probably had a lazy off sale this week. I think that would've been it. Then I sold this vintage Halloween folk art glitter paper mache decor piece. This sold for 32. I would've kept this myself, but it didn't like exactly match. It's looking at me. Oh yeah. Something about it. <laughs> it it's I eyes. love if you- It's adorable. If you don't know like folk Halloween stuff is like my favorite, but this one, something about that face. <laughs> Like, mm -mm. I something about it. I I couldn't keep it. She's so. looking at me through the iPad. Yeah. And if I move, I don't want to. I don't want her to come get me. <laughs> that was a bins find, I believe. Then I sold this Polo Ralph Lauren bird embroidered flannel fall shirt. Sold for twenty five, and that was also promoted. The Halloween decoration was also promoted. So see, promoting on eBay totally worth it. I don't do like a big promotion. I think I do like five percent, but. It helps, That's so definitely do it. Another promoted listing, I sold this Alexis and Target spotted print long sleeve midi dress. It sold so for cute. 20, and the buyer paid shipping on that too. It's a, it's Target. It's a sale. $20, you know, yeah, literally. and that costs like nothing at the bins. Sometimes I'll pick up the Target collabs, and that one for some reason I decided to. Another promoted listing, I sold this Anthropology Et Toi Manson printed wide leg pair of boho Huge. pants, and those sold for 45. Honestly, Anthro doesn't always do that great on eBay, so I I was pretty excited to sell that. Yeah. And last, this is a sale. Went to one of my buddies, and that's Hermione's fine. Hi. She Hi. is so nice. She messages she me dog. all the time on Instagram. She's so sweet, and I believe she lives in Canada, so she can only shop for me every once in a while on eBay mm -hmm. when eBay's not like throwing a fit and letting me sell internationally. Oh, I got a story to tell about that one. So she purchased mm -hmm. this vintage Argyle wool vest. I had recently picked this up, I think like two bins trips ago. Super nice, no moth holes, super trendy color, perfect fall vest. And then this fall plaid blanket by Tartan something company. I don't have it in the title because I just oh. threw this bundle together for her, mm -hmm. but it's so I cute. It's like a cream and tan and brown plaid. Once again, perfect for fall. She probably didn't get her package yet, and if she's watching this, now I'm gonna ruin the surprise. But I threw in some extra, like, fall and plaid things that I think, Ooh. like, fit the aesthetic. Yes. So I hope that she likes that. I just, I loved all these items in this. Oh, so she got that all. all for 85 and she paid shipping, and it's going to Canada. Canada. So, two feet away. Literally, just <laughs> right up the road. Yeah. My eBay sale, A, I thought I was gonna die because of the stupid international shipping nonsense that eBay throws you for. B, good sale. It was this Filson Vintage Small Rugged Toil Field Olive Canvas Leather Bag. I had this listed at $500. I was willing to take offers, and I took a $325 accepting offer. offer. Accepting offers. <laughs> $325 plus shipping to Canada. Wild. Here's the eBay part that I was like, eBay, if I catch you in a dark alley, you might lose a tooth or two. <laughs> so I had international shipping turned on. I just do like the eBay international shipping where I like send it to Kentucky and then they figure the rest of it out for me. It's the best thing <laughs> ever. Kick it across Yeah, the they like line. put it in a t-shirt cannon and just like, <laughs> boom, like punt it over the border. It's great. eBay wigged out and was like, oh, you can't sell to Canada. And so I'm like messaging this guy who like, I was terrified that it was gonna be like, this is too much. Sale goes away. Terrifying. Thankfully we got it figured out. I didn't have to call eBay. I just kind of like relisted it and I made sure that international shipping was turned on. He repurchased it for the full asking price of three twenty five, and I make like three twenty three. dollars oh, I want to find It's amazing. It. I want to find a Filson bag. I didn't even know what it was. I was I... like, are these worth anything? And I threw it in my cart. I knew Filson was expensive. <laughs> but when I didn't you found that, that and you expensive. showed me the comps of someone having it listed for like five ninety nine, dollars I think it was sold, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a Japanese style that sold them for six hundred. I was like, was crazy. are you kidding me? Bolo, if you didn't Filson. <laughs> Fills in bags. Literally. So moving on to Poshmark, this is once again the 26th or the 1st, and on the 26th, I had three. None. My first sale was this Rails Ellis white slubbed cotton Rails button tops. shirt. I freaking love the Ellis. These, Ra the these Rails tops are going to pay for a mortgage at this I point, which I think is so funny. I love the Ellis tops. Sold for 53, I get 40, 38. Then I sold this Athleta Mindset soft crew neck sweatshirt. Sold for 20, and I get 16. What mindset are you in? A bad one. <laughs> and then I sold, very fitting, this American Eagle plaid soft fall button flannel, and it sold for 18 I get 14 40 I do like to sell the um, American Eagle flannels if they're newer mm -hmm. and if we're in this type of season. They honestly mm -hmm. do do pretty good. Because yeah. they're so soft. They are really soft. Very they're soft. So they're nice. kind of like rails. <sighs> they're super soft. On the 27th, 
I had none. I had two. My first on the 27th was this, again, very fitting, Y2K Barbie top handle pink corduroy bag. This had a little cabochon of like old Barbie, like 50s Barbie that you gave me. Oh, not Barbie pink. This was like the Barbie. Yeah, bag. it was like from <clears throat> Barbie. Yeah. The company. Yeah. Mattel, if you will. Uh, sold full price for $34, and this will make me $27.20. I thought for sure this would be a Depop find, or Depop sale. Great, I could have sworn it. Great for like a Barbie Halloween costume. Oh, that would have been so cute. Okay, and then my next on the 27th was this Levi's Light Wash High Waisted Distress Pair of Jeans. Sold for 20 bucks. Did you make any money off of it, or just sold for 20? Do you oh, they any? sold for 25. I made 20. I'm so sorry. I can't do math. <laughs> then on the 28th, I had one. Three. My only sale was a decent one though, and this I had just this already up. sold. I had this listed a lot higher, but with how quickly it sold, I was like, okay. It was this Free People oversized long ruby plaid jacket. This sold for eighty nine dollars, which was her offer, and I get seventy one twenty. I will say, I actually listed this at one hundred and thirty. That's this not is a, bad. This is a two hundred dollar coat. I mean, like mm -hmm. you could tell it been through the wash like a couple times, and yeah. like again, I just got it and got it at the bins. These so it was hard so to pass up a $90 offer. So I'm not mad about that at all. Well, and also like those longer flannels do so good yeah. and they sell so fast. Like yeah. you can't keep them. I know I could have got more. But that's fine. You make your money. Clearly, I had a bad know? sales week on Posh, as you'll see coming up. <laughs> okay, my first on the 28th went to the lovely, lovely Miss Jennifer, and she sent me a very wonderful note along with her bundle. She got the Sundance Blue Velvet V-neck short sleeve little tunic, which I love the Sundance velvet pieces. They always do so good for me. It's like maxi dresses and anything like velvet velour. KO'd. Amazing. The Kate Spade Red Wool Blend Trumpet Sleeve Dress that I we talked about in the... um. What's that company? What's that? Debbie's like amazed that we can go. I, she's a very. She's like, how do you do that so fast? Like, I. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh my God! Thread up. That's what I'm trying to say. The thread oh, up rescue box that we opened okay. on that one was on Saturday. That's where this dress came from. And then this oh my God's blue tie dye V neck half oh, sleeve top. My. I like the Oh My God stuff. It gets a ton of attention on eBay. I've sold a couple pieces on Mercari, and on Poshmark it does really good too. So I think I've we're had gonna... it once. Wendy, a mother. Sold for $119, and I will make $95.20. Thank you, Jennifer. And then on the 28th, some other lady popped into my closet that I do not know her name. And she got this Doen Amy long sleeve cottage Ooh. core top. She built herself a little outfit. That was from the bins. These pair of good American, good straight blue jeans from Unique. And then from my own personal collection, Free People Brown Wool Felted Beaumont Hat. I'm just not. Was that the one I bought you? Yeah. I'm just not a, a brimmed hat person anymore. No. <sighs> they looked good on you. It was a fun era. It was fun while yeah. it lasted. It really was. It sold for $150. I would have liked a little bit more, but like again, the dough and top is from the bins. The good American jeans were $4 and then the hat was mine. So I'm just like, yeah. we don't need it. Uh, I will make 120 which is wonderful. And then last on the 28th, another big sale, AV Nation Rainbow Striped Matching Set. I found this at a consignment store. They had them priced both for $25, which was such a good Together, price. Together, right? Yeah, so they priced the set. set for 25 bucks, and Great I got 20 Great price. I so I got it have, for like 20. I would have oh, I would spent 25 separate each. also. Immediately, yeah. immediately. I had this listed really, really high at 275. The set only retails for like three something. So 275 was really kind of high. I took a $150 offer because I wanted the money. Yeah. And I make $120. So I walk away with a hundred bucks. Nice. Perfect. On the 29th, I had two. New. And my first sale was this mini Rodini Cats Black Cats Spooky Halloween pair of pants. Another thing I could have got more for, but these sold for 16, I get 12. 80. I actually found like an arbitrage opportunity on some very random website online. Oh yeah, one of those like fancy fashion websites. Yeah, it was like a baby <laughs> fashion website and they had a bunch of mini Rodini like on blowout clearance and so I think I paid like seven, eight bucks for a bunch of pieces. So I didn't make much on this. I did have it listed so at like 35 sweet. and it had a ton of likes, but honestly, I'm ready to move on from it. So yeah. I'm okay with that. And then Amber popped into my closet. Little and, Amber. And she was like, did Ryan really take those old navy pants or can I buy them? Amber, you're lucky I got a pea brain because I would have remembered that. <laughs> a pea brain? A pea brain. I would have remembered that if I did. Remembered what? Th to take those pants. <laughs> I think in a house full of beige shedding dogs, these would have yeah. been the moment for you. No. They would have been cream <laughs> after one wear. It kind of would have so been. So Amber got them for $25 and I get 20. So thank you very much, Amber. Those are coming your way and those are like the softest they are freaking amazing thing. pants. Okay. Oh. 
On the 30th, I had one. I had one too. And this was my best sell of the week. Nothing to like oh, blow you out of the water. These. But this is a very, very popular brand that is super like trendy right now. Mm -hmm. Like really, it's kind of like Loewe right now. Yes. And Bottega where like it's having a moment. Mm -hmm. It's called AMI Paris. And yeah. you will recognize them by always. They always have an A on the chest. A lot of times there's like a heart with it. Almost like a, like, like a place of hearts kind yeah. of some situation. This was the Logo Intarsia Wool Logo <laughs> Graphic Cardigan. This sold for $200, I get $160. I had this listed at $350. So clearly this was the week of like, I could have got more yeah. for everything. But like, it's, uh, With low sales, I know. it's so hard to like hold out on items. And this had a ton of likes. It was doing super good. It was actually unisex fit. So I had it listed for men's and women's. It was doing great for both. And I think it sold to a man. I could have got more, but that's, that's okay. okay. Keep that in your brain, oh, that brand. Oh, it's so Very bad. popular. I love the AMI sweaters. My one and only on the 30th is kind of a joke. <laughs> Vintage 1980s singing onion t-shirt. <laughs> I remember, I think it I gave this to you. It was a singing, it was like some like old choir group. <laughs> called the Singin' Onions. <laughs> I don't want to know what the context, like who's in the Singin' Onion choir. What do you do after school? It's oh, an I onion. Have, you smell like onions. I have Singin' yeah. Onions after school. I can't, I can't hang out, I'm sorry. I, I have the onion chorus. Sold for $18, I'll make $14.40. I hope whoever bought this enjoys their Singin' Onions. That onion too reminds me, Ryan and I are gonna go. So MOA, Mall of America, is going to have this like new haunted attraction this year that's this like huge deal. Mm -hmm. And we got tickets to it. And it's called like the Haunted Horror Trail, the Wrath of the Evil Onion. The Wrath something. of like Onion Man. Onion Man, that's onion it. Onion Man. Like it's the Wrath so of Onion funny. Man. But like it's not a joke. It's supposed to like it's supposed to be spooky. It's Onion Man. But yeah, I'm like looking out for him. How can that be scary? What in the Lord's name? How is, is an onion, onion scary? man? Anyways. On the third First, the last day of August, I had one. <coughs> My only sale was another coat. It was this Zara Long Open Cream Cloth Coat. That is Cute. what Zara called it, cloth coat. And I'm like, okay. Oh, sold for forty. It's not cement. Good to know. Yeah, Thank sold you. for it's forty. I get twenty nine oh two. And moving on to the first, I had two. I had one. My first, I went to Haley. So Haley oh, popped cute. into my closet and she purchased. She got good taste. This build a what? This Build-A-Bear Pokemon Glaceon plush stuffed animal. This sold for $40, I get $32. If you find so some of those, bo 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 I cannot say Build-A-Bear today. Build-A-Bear, 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 Build-A-Bear. If you find some of the Build-A-Bears that were like a collaboration mm -hmm. the or character like ones. a special like holiday edition one, they can be worth a lot. I have a orange pumpkin bear in a Jack Skellington like outfit right now, listed for like $100 because that's what they're worth. <laughs> Not the so. Build-A-Bear. Sold for 40, I get 32. Thank you so much, Haley. I hope that you love it. It's so cute. I'm a huge Pokemon I don't person. Know where are my Build a Bears? Right in front of me, there's a about bookshelf full of yeah. Pokemon plushies. So, love it. I hope. Janet, if you watch this and you got rid of my Build a Bears, I'm never talking ever again. <laughs> I love those so much. And my last sale of the week went to LaRoyce. LaRoyce has purchased from both of us before. She is so She's adorable. Sweet and she has She's good so cute. Taste. She purchased these soft surroundings Glacier Canyon striped long poncho for $30, I get 24. So perfect for the season. Yes. It would be like wearing- Oh, that's gonna look so cute on It her. would be like wearing a blanket. Adorable. It is so soft. So thank you so much, LaRoyce. Love. Okay, my last on the first, and then I will quickly do my Depops. Vintage Y2K pink tweed wiener dog coin purse. A funny little bins find that sold for full price for $24. And I make 1920. Love. Which is great that I make $19 off of- Off of a little wiener dog. Off of a cute little doggy. Cute okay. little dog. Cute little doggy. What a cute little dog. I could just eat him up. My first on a Depop was on the 26th, and it was this upcycled Gorpcore orange tan cropped colored button down. This is for the girlies. Sold for $20.80, which I didn't know you could offer like cents. I didn't either. On Depop. That must be new. Interesting. My next one, this had a shocking amount of likes. Vintage 1960s made in Mexico, brown tooled leather crossbody. This had 109 likes when it sold, which is kind of wow. insane. Sold for 30, 60, that's what on the 27th. Also, that's a change. That is a change. You can put all this change together and make more dollars. 
$20. Yes, I could. <laughs> then on the 27th as well, I sold this Disney Vintage 80s Mickey Mouse graphic hooded sweatshirt. I would have kept this if it was my size. It was not, unfortunately. It sold for $48. Then on the 28th again, full price sale, 52 likes. This plays directly into the trend report. Y2K cream tiered cottage coastal flowy maxi skirt sold full price for $34 plus shipping and handling. Tiered maxi skirts. They do good. This was a very good sell. This was also a very good bins find. Ugh, mini gray suede serape short fur lined boots size eight sold for $90. I had these listed as a hundred because they were literally brand new. Like they still had the sticker on the bottom and everything. Then on the 29th, my second to last for Depop was this Calvin Klein vintage Y2K long flared sleeve ribbed quarter zip sweater small medium sold for $35 full price and I will make some amount of money <laughs> then my I'll last a on, dollar amount my last on Depop this is very wholesome this was the first item I ever sold on Depop in a different colorway it really? was cream with yellow stripes vintage 90s Calvin Klein cream striped turtleneck sweater every single time I find them that's where they always sell this one sold for $25 turtleneck turtleneck Okay, mm -hmm. so the gross that I had for this week was just Poshmark, 531. 520. My gross for Depop, 277.40. And my net was 424.80. Mine was $416, and my net for Depop was 267.36. Nice. So, not the best week, but not yours bad. wasn't bad. No, and it I mean, was literally because of that Filson bag. If I didn't have that Filson or those Unif shoes or the AB Donation. If I counted or all Jennifer. my platforms, it's not like it was that bad. No. I'm really glad that eBay's picking up right now. And again, I need to cross post. I know. Very bad. Right. So, like we said, we have two PO Box packages that we're going to quick open. They are both just Polly's. And one is from Becky. <gasps> Becky, I know Becky. Me too. Becky, I, love her. I recently met. Once again, Becky is the one who sent us the outlet <sighs> cover. I just saw her at the bins like two weeks ago. She's, She's so awesome. sweet. She's so, cute. She's so freaking nice. She kept like throwing me all the Halloween stuff at the bins. <laughs> and then the other is from Mariah from Pennsylvania. Mariah from Pennsylvania. So here, we won't show any addresses. Yeah, we're not trying to out Becky. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll do Mariah's first. So. Let's see. I already I see some spooky things. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited already. So as usual, we will read the card first. Cute. I think she actually sent us a picture of herself, which I'm not going to show you guys in case adorable. she doesn't want that like, public. But her username on Poshmark is clothed by Mo, and her username on Instagram is Celestial Rose Shop. Yeah. And she said that we, she said that we are her two favorite online coworkers, which I love that like online coworker, concept. precious. And she has an upcycling crochet business, which is freaking amazing. I and I think that. she sent us oh. some stuff from her business. She she also said that she has things to put on your car mirror, which I don't know if you ever watched a thrift with us. I have an unholy amount of things hanging from yes. my car mirror and I love it. Look at these little They're so stickers. cute. A spell book one. We've got a little like October moth. A moth. I just had to get a new oh, I love like, this. I just got a new laptop, so I need some more stickers for yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, these are cute. This one's freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. And then she said, Oh, oh my is gosh, this, this is going in my car. Oh, I'm gonna oh and that's per it's our two personalities. It, this is funny. This looks like my teacher lanyard. This is literally our two personalities. I love this so much. Mariah, this is going to live in my car until the yarn this turns like white. <laughs> until it gets bleached. I was literally, this is such a weird time. She's like this reading so my cute. mind. I was freaking decorating out in the living room yesterday and i was like i need to buy some spooky coasters because i have a few but i don't have enough these to are fill so all cute. my rooms these are literally this is freaking <gasps> oh my gosh she's freaking talented look at her this is amazing <laughs> oh this is so Oops. cute i'll put it over my other head perfect it's called the top <laughs> i love this mariah this is amazing thank you these are so cute. I am going to go hang this literally right after the camera goes off. And I'm going to go put these in our living room. I feel like... Right um, the camera. I have a witch room that I decorated. I have a ghost room that I decorated. I have a more gothic room. And I have a classic Halloween room. Girl, are you getting into our furball camera? I feel like the kid that goes missing in it. <laughs> <laughs> You are. Mentally, that's what you Yeah, are. I think I am already down the sewer. I love this. Okay, now... 
What's it giving? I'm it's giving, um, It's giving the one slur. I'm These obsessed. are adorable. Mariah. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. This we is will so have, fun. We'll have Mariah linked below. And if I, I wonder if she has like an Etsy for this stuff. Or maybe yes. she sells it on Posh. We will or maybe absolutely. she just does it on Instagram. Either way, I will link both below. We will thank find you her so things. much, Mariah. These are freaking okay. amazing. Okay, here is Becky's lovely little note on an adorable piece of Halloween stationery, of course. <laughs> She's <laughs> she adorable. Signs, she signs it Becky Switchblade. Switch in parentheses. <laughs> that piece on like... Gangster Becky Switchplate. Becky Switchplate. Look out. She sounds like she's in like the mafia. Oh. Cute. We have some of these. Uh, yeah, I know, and we I don't have, have a full set of them. No, we don't. Okay. I don't have. Oh, wait. I guess I do have a scissor right next to me. So Place these look like they're for me. I literally, I think I have like three of these already. So now I can finish my set. Yes, Thank now we have an so even set of six. I these are adorable. Love these. Perfect. Take my hand. Coaster with this. I love. Perfect. Adorable. Thank you so much, Becky. These are so cute. <laughs> and I feel like this one's probably for me. <laughs> By chance, the art Bar teacher. Ross. Adorable. What's it say? No mistakes, just happy accidents. Aww, I'm 100% going to so wear this cute. to school. This is so cute. Yes. And like Becky. We, I think we said that in the oh Valentine's. Oh my gosh, it's a Spencer's t-shirt. I love That's that. so funny. I think we said how that in the adorable. Valentine's video. How obsessed we're with tie-dye still. Even I though tie-dye tie -dye. is very 2020. I love it. I think it's fun. my closet. Yes. Thank oh, you so much, Becky. Becky. And once again, it was Ryan. so nice to meet you. When how you were sweet so of the nice. both of you. This is adorable. So thank you both so oh. much. And thank you everyone who watched. I'm going to go throw this in my car now. Oh, immediately. And immediately, immediately. I love this so much. It makes me so happy. We will. <laughs> what in the world did you just do? <laughs> it, it like swung a little too easy. The weight of this thing, it like swings a little too easily. Anyways, I'm going to chaotically leave you guys now. And we will see you guys on Tuesday for some Labor Day swapping. Yeah. Bye.